Hey guys, all right, I'm going to do a quick update of what I have found to be very useful, handy, and saves me a pain in the butt of getting stuff off my bed. I tried quite a few of the other tricks, but I didn't even go there, like hairspray and stuff, like, too expensive. Even the cheap stuff, I guess cheap stuff don't work. So... This is what I've been doing. It's wax paper. Just regular cooking wax paper. Kind of want to try not to wrinkle it like I just did, but I'll be alright for the next few prints I got to do. But as you can probably see here, the bottom is nice and flat. It's all on how well you do this preparation steps. Is I take my regular glue stick, like what my daughter would have for her school. Got it at the dollar store. It's got the D4236 non toxic stuff in it. But here's what I do you gotta rub it on your glass. I'm gonna start in the back half this time. is rub it on your table nice and smooth nice and smooth and smooth you can kind of feel the glue stick like ripple you gotta look at your glass make sure you're getting it all on there nice thin coat but you want a good amount at the same time you'll see why here in a few seconds Get my edges a little better here. Make sure I didn't miss any spots. You can start to feel the glue to get a tad sticky. You don't want any like real high spots. But you can fix that. Let me take the wax paper. Lay it down. Just like so. And like other squeegees will work. This is just for Bondo. Let's start rubbing it in. Oops. And then, something that does help is preheat my bed for PLA is all I'm putting it on. That's all I got. For filament, anyways. Don't want them wrinkles. If you gotta pull the paper back up a little bit. Might be easier to take the glass off lay it on a nice flat surface. I like the clamps helping me hold it. <clears throat> okay. Looks like I might need more glue back here. You can kind of see that it does. Put it on a little thicker than I did the first time. Maybe a thin coat to start and then a 
another coat over it because you smear it around. Try not to wrinkle your paper. Here we go. That's what I wanted. You can rip your paper too. You got to be careful when you're pushing the glue out. Wrinkling my paper. I'm not going to be printing over there, but you definitely don't want to do it where you got to print. Here, it'll screw you all up. I found that out already. See, you can push the corners. It's kind of like doing window tent. Just, it's wax paper. <clears throat> I've actually done this similar thing for a window tent and a camper for somebody. We used a, it was like soapy water. And sprayed it on, put it on there, and dried. Mm. For the weekend, they had their privacy. Bed's nice and warm now. You can see the paper is starting to do better. It's flattening itself out. This little bit of prep work could save you a lot. And really, if you wanted, you could do another coat of wax paper over this. Um, and maybe not as much glue. So you can just peel layers and keep going, but you always got to keep it smooth. Got to sit down. Okay, now my next step. My bed's warm. Is my print area I'm just going to be in ain't going to be that huge. Now. Want longer stripes if you can. I would assume anyways, because it makes things more even. You'll feel the ripples when you do it. And those ripples are a sign you're causing like a wave. If you don't use the glue on top of the wax paper, it will stick, but it might not stick. Yeah, I got a little air bubble there. It's kind of right in my print area. But, oh well. Home. Actually, let's preheat nozzle. I was on 115%, huh? Prepare. Let's go home. <coughs> yeah, I know it's up back here on that little corner. It's to help me later to peel some stuff off. It's heating, it's going to take a while and prep to start printing. I'll come back and update you guys later, if need be. I'll probably just post pictures on one of the Facebook groups. But, I have definitely found that it has made getting stuff off the bed so much easier. I made a video right before this with my cell phone. I have shaky hands, so I had to get my good camera and put you guys on a tripod so I can actually hold it still but I'm right, right here bumping the chair my bad but it's smooth it's nice and smooth this is just a boat part to label the gauges lights and captain's choice accessories 
And there's one over here. <clears throat> I already painted. Well, I primed it. And then I clear coated it. And that's to help protect it against the sun. Here's the one where the wax paper messed up. Had some air bubbles underneath. I don't know if you can see that. See them bubbles? Yep. That's what happens if you leave wrinkles in your wax paper. Good day, folks.